The year after the triumphal return of Lewis and Clark, 1807, several events occurred that were important in shaping the course of American history. The first happened here on the Hudson River, where the world's first commercially successful steamboat service began to operate between Albany and New York City. Although Robert Fulton, the man that started this service, was not the first to use a steam engine for transportation, Fulton's steamboat designs inspired the large river boats that became a popular form of mass transportation a few decades later. 1807 was also the year that explorer Zebulon Pike returned to the United States after leading a two-year expedition that had crossed the plains of Kansas, entered the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, and passed down through the Spanish territories of New Mexico and Texas. The third big event of the year was the passage of a tough law that prohibited American ships from sailing to foreign ports, called the Embargo Act of 1807. By placing severe restrictions on trade through an embargo, President Jefferson hoped to force a halt to foreign interference with U.S. shipping. But what happened instead was that the embargo on trade almost completely paralyzed the American economy. And such was the state of the nation during the election year of 1808 that saw James Madison elected as the fourth president of the United States. <laughs>